So you know those people that say, Oh, I just don't like sushi. It's so fishy. Huh? What were you expecting? Well, if you're one of those people, you're going to hate this episode. Hello and welcome once again to Cooking Under the Influence with me, your host and sushi chef du jour. I'm Sean, as you probably already know. Yes, sushi. Not everybody likes sushi, but I don't care. I like sushi. We're going to make some sushi at home, and our drink du jour to go with our sushi is sake. Sake to me. Rice wine. Everybody likes rice. Everybody likes wine. So go for it. Naturally, when you make sushi, you need some basic ingredients. Let's make some sushi. Fish. I love freaking salmon. Tuna. Some seaweed paper. Gotta love the seaweed paper. I only drink soy milk and soy cheese. So I'm just, no thanks. Oh fuck you, here have some soy paper, all right? Look, I made rice ahead of time. Can you even stand the excitement over it? I told you, back in, I don't know, Jambalaya episode or something, rinse your rice. But with sushi, we want sticky rice. So don't rinse the sushi rice. You don't need to go get damn special sushi rice to make sushi. This the supermarket brand, that's what I have. That's what this is. Well, where'd you learn how to make sushi? Don't you have to be a special sushi chef? Isn't it some sort of martial art sushi making? Just make some damn sushi. All the fancy people tell a sushi chef, or I don't know what I want, just make me something. And then they make you some very expensive roll of whatever occurred to them. Those sushi chefs, they just make shit up as they go. You don't have to know how to make a crunchy roll or a name of a city roll. You know who else can make shit up? You can. Okay, taking the skin off is kind of the pain in the ass part. I know I'm from New Orleans, a sportsman's paradise, and I don't know how to skin a fish. I suck. I'm Wayne. Now, if you want to make salmon skin sushi, cook the salmon skin, go right ahead. Be my guest. Oh, raw fish? Aren't you going to smoke it or cook it or do something? No. Wonderful stuff. Sake. Sushi grade means raw and fresh. If you want to get the sushi grade fish and pay 20 times the price for it, then go right ahead. Whatever. I went to my local supermarket and got some fresh salmon and tuna. You can use swordfish, you can use mackerel, mahi, I don't know, something that looks like sushi. When it's raw, use that. You can fry up some tempura shrimp, you can use whale boogers, I don't care. Do whales have boogers? I'm trying to imagine what it would be like with my nose on the top of my head like a whale. Would I get boogers? If you're one of those vegetable types that wants like lots of veggies in your sushi, that's fine. I'm gonna steam some asparagus. The cucumber is nature's sex toy. Asparagus. Nature's sex toy for beginners. I totally, totally went there. Uh, oh, was that crass? Sushi paper. Oh, there's only two here. I don't use cocaine, trust me. I'm make a line of rice. I'm gonna put some strips of tuna in there, maybe some chunks of tuna in there. I'm going to peel our cucumber. Hopefully the vegetable peeler will be more cooperative than with the eggplant episode. Just the vegetable peeler was much easier with nature's sex toy. Some nice long sushi strips. Oh, geez, all the water's evaporating. Let's drain it. Let's make some sauce. All right, let's make shit up. Mayonnaise. Sriracha sauce. Oh my god, this stuff is so good. If you haven't tried it, you need to get yourself a freaking bottle. Stir it till it's nice and pinky orange. This stuff is so good. Drizzle it. Drizzle. It's easy to say drizzle when you've been drinking sake. God, don't forget to drink your sake. Oh, here. Get some wasabi. It's a booger of wasabi. 
right there. Little sushi rolly bamboo-y thing. This is the rolly part. This isn't like one of the hardest parts. Pull that shit tight. Remember there's nature sex toy in there, so it's gotta be tight. Ooh. I kinda pulled it a little too tight. I kinda split the skin. I don't care. Put it on a plate. Let's be, let's try and be fancy with our next sushi. Let's put the rice on the outside. Ooh. Okay, this is destined to be a freaking epic fail. Now, as you know, the sushi was brought to us by the Japanese. How many famous Japanese people can you name? Emperor Hirohito? All those Pearl Harbor attacker people? George Takei? One of my favorites. Oh my. It's okay to be Takei. Let's put some salmon in this one. Let's put our asparagus. Sure, why not? That slice came out really thick. But we'll just eat it. Fuck it. Saki makes me happy. I don't know, let's make some shit up. Rice wine vinegar. I got some. I don't know what to do with it. Let's just put it on something. Ooh, I got sauce on me. It's great being sauced. That was a double entendre. Double entendre means more than one meaning. All right, let's roll this shit up. All right, this is where it has fail written all over it. Shit coming out the sides. Ooh, well, that's not too terrible. You ever cook something and you think, hey, that came out kind of nice. Like that. Then you eat up all the rice that fell out, because there's lots of that shit. Look, I found some toasted sesame ginger seasoning. That'll be great on the sushi. I'm just going to sprinkle it. Because if it's okay to be decay, then it's okay to sprinkle. All right, I'm going to make some freaking random kind of sauce to drizzle over this shit. Looking through my cabinet, I've got hoisin sauce. Tempura dipping sauce. I don't fucking know how this is going to turn out. This is a total experiment. And, uh, oh, let's put some rice wine vinegar in there. You know that eel sauce that tastes really good on sushi? I have no idea how to make that. Let's put it in the microwave. All right, 15 seconds in the microwave. How's that taste? Oh God, that's horrible. Okay, don't do that. Whatever the hell I just made. Let's just slice up our sushi. That seems a lot safer. All right, you remember the ripped skin sushi? Yeah, I'm seeing its consequences now. Big fat hot mess of used to be sushi. Falling apart, used to be sushi, but the rice on the outside still looks pretty darn good. We've got all this leftover fish. I'm going to make a sushi salad if I can get the damn door closed. There we go. Some sushi chef is going to assassinate me for drinking a cold sake out of a damn bottle. The Japanese who brought us the sushi. The Japanese are known for bringing weird to the world. And you think, oh god, raw fish? That's so weird. There's some other weird shit that the Japanese do, like this. Bagel heads. I just want to, like, spread some cream cheese on their face and top it off with lox, which is salmon. Oh, so good. Oh, hell, I didn't put cream cheese with my salmon. Oh, that sucks. Look, it's like a fish salad. Ooh, munch it. Motherfucker. Just gonna sprinkle some more, what is this stuff? Let's roll the seaweed paper up into a roulade, as they say in France. Oh, ho, ho. Slice that shit up. Rice wine vinegar, sure, why not? Soy sauce. Got the chopsticks, yo, yo, Ooh, 
Good stuff. All right, don't forget your pickled ginger. Pickled ginger. Oh, it's tasty. Wasabi! The little bowl is called a ramekin. I don't know why. Oh, fuck. All the rice just fell off into the ramekin. Hmm. <laughs> Who cares? It's delicious. Okay, so maybe you won't impress people. I know you won't impress the sushi chef with this shit. Not an epic fail. Not an epic win. But you're going to dine nicely tonight when you make sushi. And if you're one of those, hey, it tastes so, it seems so fishy, then you know what? You can just go fuck off and go watch the freaking pork roast episode or something. Ooh, I have a text message. Oh, it's my turn in words with friends. I'm winning. <laughs> Duh. Enjoy your sushi rolls. Enjoy your fish salad. Sayonara.